Hello everybody, welcome back to 38 Bricks, and today we are going to be looking at the most rare and expensive LEGO Star Wars minifigures. Let's go. This minifigure is actually based on the original Boba Fett design. He goes for around $50 and he came in a Lego character encyclopedia book. He is definitely one of my favorite minifigures that I own. This prototype Boba Fett minifigure looks a lot like the Imperial Super Commando. Next up is a farm boy Luke, who is worth $40. What makes him so expensive? His blue milk. He needs some milk! The milk piece is just like the classic milk, but instead of having a cow, it has a bantha on it. The crazy thing is that the milk piece in the head is the only thing that is exclusive to this minifigure. What? The 332nd Trooper is a very cool minifigure, but it goes for around $30, which is the exact same price as the Lego set. Like the Blue Milk Luke, only its helmet is exclusive to this set. That means that you are actually paying $30 just for a helmet. Here he is next to a standard 501st Trooper. While a normal Stormtrooper goes for around 5 bucks, this Bin Ban Stormtrooper goes for $70. Wow. On Bin Ban, you can't see anything, so imagine how bad the Stormtrooper's aim is there. Bruh. Agent Callus is from Star Wars Rebels, and he goes for around $50. His armor looks very cool, but when you remove the helmet, you will see the worst beard ever. <laughs> Captain Rex is a fan favorite minifigure. His armor pieces make him look super cool. There's actually an exclusive head to this minifigure, which makes him look that much cooler. What's weird is that Commander Cody came in a more expensive set and has more exclusive pieces, and yet he's less expensive. Comment below if you have any expensive minifigures, and remember to like and subscribe. 